Kepler 16b. Although this may appear to be a random string of letters, it is the name of one of the most unique planets ever found in the universe. Scientists discovered that Kepler 16b was in circumbinary orbit circling two stars as opposed to one. This means that the planet would have two sunsets if you could stand on its surface, much like Luke Skywalker's home planet of Tatooine in the Star Wars saga. The discovery of Kepler 16b demonstrated the diversity of the planets in our galaxy and broadened the prospects of what scientists and filmmakers could conceive. This planet is definitely special enough to be number one on our list, but what other strange planets have scientists discovered in the universe? Just how weird can they really get? In today's video, we are going to take a deep dive into the cosmos and look at the most bizarre and straight up terrifying planets ever discovered. WASP 76b the Molten Iron Raining Exoplanet This is a tidally locked planet to its parent star, BD plus 01316. That is, a side of the planet is always facing the star, resulting in scorching hot temperatures of around 4,532 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 2,500 degrees Celsius, which is hot enough to melt iron. The side of WASP 76b that faces the F-type star is roasted by radiation thousands of times stronger than that received by Earth from the Sun, while the side that faces away from the F-type star is perpetually dark. Although the day side of the planet faces horrific temperatures, this does not mean that the night side of the planet is any easier. The side of WASP 76b that faces away from the planet's parent star is cooler by at least 1,832 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 1,000 degrees Celsius, but this implies that iron vapor is cooled as it is blown across the hemisphere by tremendous winds, forming liquid droplets. Droplets of molten iron fall to the cooler side of the planet, hitting it with a torrent of heat. This type of rain isn't unique to WASP-76b, it occurs on several other worlds. Further discoveries of exoplanets, as is often the case, don't just raise the stakes, they also make things even odd. HD 189733b, where molten glass streams down in showers. This horror world is only 64 light years distant from Earth making it the nearest hot Jupiter to our planet. Although it may appear to be a beautiful deep blue marble drifting serenely in space, this gigantic gas giant would quickly make you regret your decision to visit it if you dare to. All that glitters isn't gold, as the saying goes. This is the case with this gas giant planet, which has a 2.2 day orbit around its star. As it turns out, the planet's stunning blue tint is caused by its fatal weather, notably the rains of molten glass. However, this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the planet's bizarre weather patterns. Additionally, the exoplanet endures winds of approximately 5,600 miles per hour, that's 9,000 kilometers per hour. Glass rain on the exoplanet arcs sideways towards the ground rather than dropping straight down, and the supersonic winds gather up silicate particles, transforming them into minuscule missiles. This exoplanet has a much greater atmosphere than scientists would expect for a world of this size. However, as another extreme exoplanet indicates, depleted atmospheres can sometimes be given a second chance. Gliese 1132b, the planet that developed an additional atmospheric layer. There are a surprising number of similarities between this planet and our own planet. It has a greater radius and a somewhat larger mass. At 4.5 billion years old, it shares many characteristics with Earth. Despite its close proximity to its red dwarf parent star, 
this world has one notable difference. It completes its orbit in only 1.6 days compared to the average Earth day. This planet has a surface temperature of 278 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 137 degrees Celsius, which is substantially greater than our planet's average temperature of 68 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 43 degrees Celsius, with the exoplanet's atmosphere being stripped away by the intense radiation. Gliese 1132b, however, has lately been discovered to be experiencing an unusual phenomenon. The planet is squeezed and stretched by tidal forces generated by its star, which is 20% larger than the Sun. As a result of this flexing, explosive volcanic activity and a rush of gases to the planet's surface results. Gases like this are essentially constructing a second atmosphere over the globe. Astronomers have never seen anything like this before, but the regrown atmosphere affords a unique opportunity to examine the chemical makeup of an exoplanet by proxy because of its origin. Kepler 10b in a galaxy far, far away. Kepler 10b orbits its host star at a distance of a tenth of the orbit of Mercury, similar to the Sun. As a result, the orbit is shorter than an Earth day, and the surface temperature is higher than 2,372 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 1,300 degrees Celsius. Kepler 10b produces molten iron and silicate droplets because it is tidally bound to its star. To rephrase that, the planet probably has lava that's hotter than the one on Earth. While Kepler-10b's host star's radiation has stripped the planet of much of its atmosphere, stellar winds have blasted these droplets away from the planet's surface and given it a blazing trail. Astronomer Dimitar Sasolov describes the resulting lava-dominated Earth-like world as an abomination. If this exoplanet's surface is covered with molten lava, it's no surprise that it's been likened to Mustafar, the planet in the Star Wars universe where Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker face off. The young Jedi suffers horrific injuries as a result of the world's lava, forcing him to don Darth Vader's famous black armor and breathing apparatus. When choosing a world in which to fight a duel to the death, a place with a colder climate may be preferable. Fortunately, there are exoplanets with vastly different environments. Andromeda B Upsilon, a world of fire and ice. Upsilon Andromeda B is another exoplanet that orbits its host star in just under five days, indicating that it is most likely tidally locked. The significant temperature differential between the day and night sides of this planet, which was previously known as Sapphire, makes it an extreme world. During the day, the temperatures rise to 2,912 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 1,600 degrees Celsius, whereas at night it drops to minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit, that's minus 20 degrees Celsius. This means that crossing the hemisphere of this world is like diving into a volcano. The other tidally locked hot Jupiters we've seen don't appear to have such extreme temperature differences between their star-facing and star-ignoring sides as does this one. The massive size of its parent star, Upsilon Andromedae A, or the fact that the star has a hot zone almost directly overhead this exoplanet, could explain why this exoplanet has such a drastic temperature differential. For all we know, exoplanets are all violent, hot worlds orbiting their parent stars, but this is far from the truth. HR5183b, the planet of Whiplash. This Super Jupiter, three times the mass of our largest planet, has an extremely eccentric orbit, both physically and symbolically in terms of exoplanet finds. Unlike other planets, this gas giant orbits its parent star, HR5183, in an egg-shaped pattern. Astronomers discovered the exoplanet due to the tiny wobble its gravity causes on its parent star, 
which causes a dip in brightness. It took 20 years of observations with three telescopes, including Hawaii's WM Keck Observatory, to complete the process. Despite this long period of observation, the globe has yet to complete a full orbit, which researchers estimate will take 45 to 100 Earth years, most likely 74 years. What's remarkable is its peculiar orbit, which sees it linger on the outskirts of its system before slingshotting into the heart, passing within a hair's breadth of its host star before tearing away. The Whiplash planet got its name because of its irrational behavior. It's also been likened to a wrecking ball because of its anticipated disastrous effect on any other planets in the system that are trying to circle it in a more conventional manner. If HR 5183b's shaky relationship with its parent star comes as a shock, some worlds have gone even further, completely disassociating from their parent stars and roaming the universe on their own. Ogle 2016 BLG 1928 Going Rogue Exoplanets exist in a variety of shapes, sizes and densities, but they all have one thing in common. They orbit a star. Or are we sure? There are certain worlds in the galaxy that are not bound by the Sun's gravitational pull. These space nomads have no parent star to light and warm them, so life is dark and chilly for them. These planets are thought to form around stars in the traditional way, but are then flung away by gravitational interactions with other planets. Because exoplanets are typically detected through their effects on their host stars, these homeless planets are nearly impossible to find. For Earth-sized planets, this is especially true. When this planet was discovered wandering the Milky Way, it was a remarkable discovery. While it isn't the first rogue planet to be identified, it is the smallest, with earlier examples considerably similar in size to Jupiter. TRES-2b, the darkest exoplanet discovered so far. This planet was discovered in 2011 by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope and its darkest known exoplanet, reflecting less than 1% of the light it receives. TRES-2b is the darkest planet or moon ever discovered, orbiting a star approximately 750 light-years away in the constellation Draco. In terms of opacity, it's comparable to the darkest acrylic paint you could use to paint with, and that includes black coal. It's absurd how gloomy this planet is. Despite all these extreme worlds, we may still be able to find the most exceptional exoplanets and they may be found in systems that we've never seen before. Thanks for watching and while you're here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more high quality content. I'll see you there.